Hi dear chess friends, this is International Master Camilla Tovano welcoming you to my chess channel. Thank you for being here and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and share these videos with your friends. Today I would like to talk about how to attack using the pin and I am about to go through a game played at Princeton in the year of 1933 and who played it? Well, Albert Einstein had white against Robert Oppenheimer. So I am so sure that you cannot wait to see this game with me. And I even suggest you to save this video because this is a memorable game played by two geniuses of the physics. Okay, let's see. So Einstein starts with pawn to e4, e5, and he's about to t teach us how to attack, okay? So knight f 9 c6, the Rui Lopez, bishop b5, a6, and white will preserve the bishop going back to b3 when it attacks the pawn on f7. Okay, black develops the knight attacking the pawn on e4, but white will not defend it because it will be very easy to take it back and that with opening the center and absolutely this is advantageous to white because black's king is left in the center okay so black goes after the pawn on e4 this has been probably an analysis more than a game but we will see uh, what they have found out rook to e1 bringing the rook on the open semi-open file for now but it's going to get open really really soon and black uh, defends the knight in the center. So white will attack the pawn chain on the queen side. Black pushes the pawn. And so he does not allow white to develop the knight on c3 anymore. But that is okay because what happens now is white will send away the knight from the center and opening the bishop in the same time. Okay, opening its diagonal. And when the knight goes back, now the pawn on e5 is going to fall. And not only, now black will uh, get into a very passive position. His king being still left in the center with the knight pinned on e7. White has a very strong knight in the center. And so uh, white has also the initiative because now he will develop the queen threatening the checkmate on f7. So black pushes the pawn, but in this way, he simply opens the diagonal that goes directly to his king. So now white will check him on h5 and uh, black has to push the pawn to g6, but this doesn't help either because now the knight can take on g6, the pawn on h7 being pinned as well as the knight on e7. We will see many pins in this game, so we will understand the importance of trying to get the opponent's pieces in a pin. Okay, so pawn takes g6 and now the queen takes the rook. Okay, so white is already in advantage, even materially speaking. So it's not good for black to trade pieces, but then he wants to continue developing the rest of them. It's simply white is going to gain another bishop. Okay, the knight on e7 being still pin, so it could not move. Good, so the king goes away from the pin and white takes the knight and guess what? White is pinning the knight again, this time with the bishop. So the knight cannot move away unless black loses the queen. Okay, so black develops the bishop pinning white's bishop on f8 with his rook. So now the queen goes to g7, pinning the knight to the king. Mm. So this is very, very interesting, right? So white is attacking on e7 three times now and black will have to bring the third defender uh, for the knight on e7. Okay, so how is white going to continue? He simply develops the other knight. He needs to find a way to send away one of the defenders of e7. Most probably that would be the queen. Okay, so how is white going to do it? He's preparing for the opening of a new file and he actually manages to open it. So after a5, now white attacks the queen. If the queen moves away, black will lose the knight on e7. So black accepts the sacrifice, but now the d file gets open and white pinning the queen 
on d6. So even if black should uh, block the pin, now the rook can take, rook being defended by the pawn and knight still pin, so black is still going to lose the queen. Therefore black sacrificed the queen for the rook, but he also loses the knight and so white having queen and two pawns up is going to win the game. So actually at move number 24, black has resigned. So my dear friends, I hope that you enjoyed today's lesson. I would like to invite you to download my chess application. You will find the link in the description so that you can have direct access to the videos I post on YouTube and also to my blog. Thank you so much for your attention and I cannot wait to talk to you in our next tutorial.